Thank you. Um, I know some of you might be shocked that I made it back because my picky eating might have left me starved. But I did actually find food that I liked there. Um, yeah, there's some of it there. Uh, that was actually my breakfast most days, was donuts and um, some chicken on a stick. But <laughs> I, I may do. I might have lost a little weight, but um, no. So every morning, it was one of those, we had a team time together, and we prayed and read the, read the Bible. Um, but then we started our day, and we went out, and um, there was a campus that was maybe a 15-minute walk from where we stayed. And we spent over eight hours a day probably there. Um, and most of it was playing ping pong, getting lunch, um, but usually about four hours a day was usually playing basketball. Um, and we usually played until they turned the lights off, so basically until they kicked us off the courts. But um, it's honestly like some of the most fun I had, but any time like interacting with any Thai person. They were the nicest people in the world. And it made it so easy to just have a conversation because obviously don't look like them. And so they're asked, why are, you, why are you here? And it opened the door to be like, I'm here visiting friends that are starting a church. And it was an easy end to the gospel. And every day, whether we were getting lunch with people, um, playing ping pong or playing basketball, we always had a gospel conversation because they would just ask, how, why are we here? How do we get here? Where are we from? And it just led to a gospel conversation. Now, sometimes they hear and it, they just move on from it, but sometimes they would ask questions and then you actually get to read the Bible with them. Or, and it was just an amazing, amazing experience to be over there. Um, but we didn't all just do missionary things where we did have some fun. Um, one, the, like the first week we were there, uh, the Thailand national team, their soccer team, played um, for like a World Cup qualifying, so we went to that. Um, one of our vacations, we went and saw elephants, which was something that was amazing and I didn't really expect um, like them letting us do as much because that picture is of eating food, but we got to swim with them, we got to um, give them a mud bath. It was honestly kind of weird, but also really fun. Um, but then we, before I came back, we also spent some time um, debriefing our summer, and we got to go to an island and spend some time there. Um, the people at the ends of the line are um, two of the full-timers there. Um, they were like our hosts for the summer. Um, their names are Clinton Miranda. And they've been overseas for 12 years now, and they were in China for like 10 years, and then this is like their second or third in Thailand. And they were really great hosts, introducing us to the culture. Um, but then um, some of like our big events that we put on um, was the 4th of July and something we called Nightlight. Um, and so the 4th of July was about half the teams that were over there. There was about 50 college students over there um, for the summer. and. Half of us invited all our friends to a 4th of July party where we played games and basically introduced them to the long-term team there. Um, because we're only gonna be there for six weeks, the people that are actually like going to talk and like inform them about God and who he is and what he's like, they need to get connected to the people that will be there for years to come. And that was one of the ways we did it was play, playing games and introducing them that way. But then at the top there, um, Nightlight was an event where they actually had a Thai pastor come and he preached in Thai the gospel and gave a whole account basically and they sang in Thai and honestly I had no idea what was going on because I know like three words in Thai. Um, but it was amazing just to watch and talk to some of my Thai friends because um, English is not obviously the first language but most people know English. And so just leaning over to my friend and being like, hey, what is he saying? He's like, give me a sec, this is really cool. And then he would listen and then he would translate back and I was like, oh, that was really cool. <laughs> um, but in that top picture, there is about 200 Thai students from four or five different universities. And honestly, it was kind of amazing because we didn't get to see 
like we knew our friends and we knew that the other teams um, had made friends, but we didn't like, you didn't see the numbers or you didn't see like what actually they were doing. And then when you get us all in one place, I was shocked. Um, but I met um, some really close friends um, and you'll see there. Uh, so the one over on the far over there, um, that's Summer. Um, he's actually Chinese. He was um, in Thailand for studying. I met him at the basketball courts. Um, and he, we had gospel conversations, but like he didn't really seem that interested in. But he's a great friend, and I've already downloaded a new app so I can talk to him even when, even when he goes back to China. Um, and so I'm definitely keeping him in my prayers. Um, and then the next picture, uh, Yosef has the red hair, and Cho is the one holding up the peace sign. These are another two guys that I met at basketball courts, and they were the most fun guys ever. They were so nice, so friendly, um, but they were really competitive. And so we would, we ended up always on the separate teams, and so we'd always go against each other. Um, somehow, saying my name for Thai people is really hard, and so they tried to come up with a nickname. Apparently, I look close enough to an NBA player called Nikola Jokic. So they started calling me Jokic. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll go with it. I can't think of anything better. Um, but those two is an absolute blast. Um, every night playing with them. And I actually had gospel conversations and Yosef like, actually asked the question of like, how do you become a Christian? And I don't know like, I don't know his mind, I don't know where his heart's at, but like, to hear that question asked, like, it was amazing, and um, this week is actually a really big week because the long-term staff, our long-term team over there is coming back to Bangkok after their little vacation, and they're starting up what they call um, family group, which is similar to like a life group, where it's like people meet up um, every week, and for them, it's more of people that are interested in the gospel, are interested in Jesus, or heck, they could just be interested in hanging out, but it's a really good opportunity, and it's a really big week, so I'd ask for you guys' prayers, and trying to connect my friends here with the long-term team, and hopefully they get in a family group, so all those questions that I left them with, because I can't answer everything, that they can answer from the long-term team. Um, and lastly, uh, the picture there um, is with Kim and Beam. Um, they, I met them at ping pong, um, Kim is crazy good at ping pong. I don't know how someone can be that good. But uh, we went to a thing called the night market. Um, it is, it's like, like a flea market or like maybe like a farmer's market, but like almost like on steroids. Like it's just bigger and has so many options. So much different food. Um, I tried octopus. Um, that was interesting. Um, <laughs> But it, that was one of the most fun nights I had because it, literally they brought this old digital camera and we just went around the place taking pictures. And when we got done, he sent them, sent them to me and he's like, 90s vibe. And I was like, yes, and these look really dang cool. These, <laughs> um, but I had really fun with them. But overall, it was, it was an amazing summer seeing God work both in my life and also in the Thai people. Um, it's a predominantly Buddhist country, but the ge younger generation doesn't seem to be buying into it as much. They're asking more questions, and there's a lot more doubt to it. And so, like, us going there and talking to them, it was like they were looking to put their faith in something, but they didn't know what. And just by being like, here, this is what I believe, just opened a door to them to be like, oh, what is this about? And I read the Bible with three or four of them, and you can just see like the interest. And then at that nightlight event, um, like we had questions at the end, and some of them were like, I kind of believe, like 50%, I want to know more. And it was like, oh my goodness, like God is working here. Like that, that is way different than when I first met you. Like, and it was just amazing to see and like, I'm like messaging them still, even though it's a 12 hour difference. So like, 
Most of the day, they won't respond because it's 4 a.m. there when it's 4 p.m. here. But it's still like, I'm just so excited to see what God's doing over there and what he will do in the future. Um, But I would just like ask for you guys to pray for them. And I don't like, it's one of those uh, every year, like, you see more people, um, like, from SALT, uh, the student organization that I'm in at Iowa, are going over there. You, um, actually, one of the guys that went over there on a different team, he's actually going to stay there long term. And I just pray for, like, more missionaries and more people to go there because there's such a need, but there's also such a want to believe in something there that it's like, I feel like God can use it to grow immensely over there. And it's just something that's amazing. Um, just being able to be a part of and being able to witness that this summer. Um, But yeah.